Hi ladies and welcome to today's video in which we are looking at calculations with ratio scales. So we're still on our map work and remember with ratio scales it's different to our bar scales because we will be given the scale of a map. So let's take for example 1 is to 100,000. And they tell us that the map measurement, in other words, when I measure the, the distance on the map, it is 8 centimeters. Now they want me to work out the actual distance or the distance in reality. So how am I going to do that? Well, I've got my ratio of 1 is to 100,000. And I know I've got my 8 centimeters, which they've given me. So I'm going to put my 8 down here, but I don't know what that is. How did I get there? I to multiply by 8. Okay, so in order for me to get, and we know this already, whatever I've done to the one side, I've got to do to the other side. In order for me to get an answer here, I'm going to have to multiply by 8 as well. So that 100,000 multiplied by 8 is going to give me 800,000 centimeters. That 800,000 centimeters Sorry, I'm going to have to divide by 100,000 because I want to get that actual distance in like kilometers. And that will give me 8 kilometers. So 8 centimeters on the map will be the equivalent of 8 kilometers actual distance. Let's look at another example with a ratio of 1 is to 10,000. And they're mentioning to us that the map measurement is now 75 millimeters, not even centimeters. They want us to work out the distance in reality. So I'm going to use the same method. 1 is to 10,000. I don't know what that is. And in order for me to get to 75 millimeters, I'm going to multiply that by 75. So now I'm sitting with 75, or a ratio of 75 is to... I don't know what, but what do I have to do? If I've multiplied by 75 on the one side, I'm going to have to multiply by 75 on the other side. So what am I going to sit with? 10,000 multiplied by 75 is going to give me 750,000 millimeters. And then again, I now want to convert from millimeters to kilometers. So I'm going to take my 750,000 millimeters. I'm going to divide that by 1 million. And that is how I'm going to end up with an answer of 0 0.75 kilometers. My 75 millimeters on the map is equivalent to 0 0.75 kilometers in reality. Now let's look at a slightly different example where we've got our ratio and in this case, 1 is to 500,000. And we've got the actual distance in this case of 65 kilometers. And they want us to work it back um, to what that would be on the map, what the distance uh, on the map would be. So we, we've got our ratio. 1 is to 500,000. And first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to divide by... 500,000. Okay, remember I'm taking a totally different route now. So I'm going to divide by 500,000. That's going to give me a 1. I'm going to divide by 500,000 over there. And I'm going to sit with 0, 0,000002 is to 1. Okay, now they wanted me to work out 65 kilometers. So what am I going to do? I'm going to take this and I'm going to multiply it by 65, multiply by 65 on that side. And what I'll end up with is what? 65, my one side, and I'm going to end up with 0, 0,00013 on the other side. So what that is essentially saying, this over here is 0, 0,00013 kilometers. I'm then going to multiply that by 100,000. Why? Because I want to convert to centimeters. When I do that, that will end up with 13 centimeters. So you can see 
taken my ratio back to its simplest form so that I've got one is to um, my number over here. I'm then going to multiply it by whatever the kilometers amount is over there. And then I'm going to convert whatever that answer is. This one over here. I'm going to convert that to centimeters. Um, and that's how I'll get my map measurement. Let's do one last example with a ratio of 1 is to 25,000. And my actual distance is 5 kilometers. Okay, so we already know now what's going to happen. I'm going to divide it by 25 thousand and that's going to give me one and this is going to give me zero comma zero 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 four then how many kilometers do they want five kilometers so i'm going to multiply that by five i'm going to multiply this answer by five and i'm going to sit with zero comma zero 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 two to five okay now i'm going to take this answer over here and i'm going to multiply that by a hundred thousand because i want to convert it to centimeters and that'll end up being 20 centimeters so guys i hope this helps you to understand now how to calculate you uh, with ratio scales whether we are looking to get the actual distance or the map measurement